something I would like people to know is that um, executive dysfunction is real. It's not that I'm lazy. I just can't sometimes. And also that it's really hurtful whenever people ask about your special interests and then get angry at you for telling them more than they wanted to know. I wish they would know that um, loud noises do bother us and that teachers don't please don't play movies if above a certain volume. If we ask you to turn it down, please turn it down because the noise can bother our ears, especially for those of us who have glasses and need to sit in the front of the classroom to see. And we're right in front of the speakers that it hurts our ears. What I wish people knew is that we all learn things at a different pace. Um, some of us learn things after looking at it just once. Others take forever to learn uh, one thing. It, it really is different for everybody. And what you can do is just be patient with people who may take longer to learn things. Just if they need help, help them. I wish my teachers and classmates better understood how much sound can affect autistic people because there have been multiple instances where um, I was judged or told off for wearing earplugs or listening to music while I'm doing my work. Uh, what I wish um, te teachers and classmates uh, to know about autistic people um, is is that um, it can take us longer to respond to things, but it doesn't make their responses any less intelligent or any less valid than your ideas. I wish that teachers knew um, that a lot of autistic people don't have very good control over our tone of voice, or maybe it's not a general thing, I don't know, but um, like when I'm really irritated, I I sound like I'm being snippy or whatever that means like an aggressive tone of voice but I'm not trying to and it's just because uh, things are stressful and they need to be willing to talk to me even though my voice might not be on par with what they expect. When autistic students won't stop talking about a seemingly random topic they feel passionate about, they're not being annoying. That's their way of saying I want a friend and they are trying their best. Engaging in the conversation means more to them than you will ever know. I wish they would know that we aren't stupid and don't act based on assumptions like this because we have a pretty good idea of what's happening around us. I wish that classmates and teachers of autistic people knew that it's very easy to get sensory overload and very difficult to overcome it when you're autistic. If someone's talking too loudly or the lights are too bright, my brain cannot process that and it feels like physical pain. So I won't be able to answer your questions or get my work done. I'll be focusing on trying not to cry. <laughs> I wish that neurotypical students and teachers would understand that accommodations differ from person to person depending on their needs and accommodations are also essential because the school system was not meant to help teach the atypical student but to only teach the neurotypical student. I also wish that they understood that accommodations also include where we're seated and um, things that we can use to prevent sensory overload in classrooms. It's not uncommon for an otherwise verbal autistic person to lose their ability to speak when they're feeling nervous or overwhelmed. So if we're discussing an assignment, for example, and I'm not responding, it's not because I'm being rude, it's because I'm literally unable to talk. And if you get mad at me and start yelling at me, I will get even more nervous and become even less likely to talk, so just email me instead. While I'm not defined by my autism, there are still things that I'm going to need in the classroom and otherwise to support my learning. And that's your job as a teacher to support my learning. So if there's a sensory issue I'm having or I need an accommodation, I need you to understand that and be willing to help me with that instead of getting angry at me for asking. Because it takes a lot for someone who struggles to ask for help, especially with special needs. What I wish people knew about talking to people who are autistic is that do not 
we don't like being condescended. Seriously, don't do that. It's not cool. Do you like being spoken to like you're five? No. No, you don't. So, don't, don't pull that on us. We know we have a disability. We are aware. Don't remind us. And don't treat us like we're stupid because you know damn well we're not. Um, one thing I would like to tell teachers as an autistic person, uh, just talk to us. Try not to yell at us that much or, um, you know, sometimes we might do things that might not make sense to you that much or we'll do things differently from other people. And sometimes we may even get on your nerves, but <clears throat> always try to talk to us and figure out why we're acting a certain way. I think one of the most important things that people tend to forget is that autistic people are still people. We still have feelings and, and imagination and amazing personalities that people overlook because all they see is autism. But we're so much more than that. I really want my teachers and classmates to know that many autistic people do have empathy and that it's just harder for us to express our emotions and to really process the feelings of others but that doesn't mean that we do not have empathy or that we are robots. Some of us even have too much empathy like I do but we still have empathy and we are not emotionless. I wish that the teachers and students at my school knew that um, like autistic people sometimes don't understand when they're being too quiet or, um, or like too loud when they're talking. So it's not like I'm trying to be a bad kid or like I'm trying to be obnoxious. But like most of the time we don't actually like realize that we're doing it. Hello. Um, I really wish like growing up, um, Teachers didn't really, you know, acknowledge or help the fact that I was autistic or neither of the students. Um, I really wish it was more talked about and more brought up, like, the mental health aspect, um, because I think most kids like to bully people who are different than them, and I just think it would be more helpful that way, so that way there would be more acceptance in the classroom and bullying wouldn't really occur as much. I wish my teachers knew that just because I can't answer the question they just asked does not mean that I don't understand. It just means that I can't answer that question. And I wish my classmates knew that when I say I do not like to be touched, it is the opposite of an invitation to touch me. It means that they should not touch me. I can't believe I actually have to say this. As normal and as smart as I may seem, I still need a little extra help with time management and organization. And resources like that should not be denied to any person regardless of their diagnosis or how high functioning they are. Hello, my name is Xander Rivera and so far my experience as an autistic college student is not easy. Trying to get accommodations for yourself is one of the many challenges you have to face. Another is understanding the assignments your instructors give you. It sometimes feels like I'm stuck in a pit because the instructors have certain ways of how my assignments should be, and when I try to do the best I can to match their expectations, it's still just barely over the mark you're trying to reach. I would like my teachers and my classmates to know that if I'm not, I'm not looking at you, it doesn't mean that I'm not listening. Uh, loud noises are very annoying. Imagine when the teacher goes out of the class and the classmates start talking, blah, 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 blah. It is very annoying. And that my productivity shouldn't be measured by neurotypical statements. Gracias.
Hi, I just wish our teachers knew that we all have different needs, different learning techniques, different approach. We understand some things differently and we have different difficulties at school. However, we are trying to do our best and I wish that they would acknowledge that. We are not weird, we are unique and that's the way it is. I wish they knew autism is not a mental illness. We are not retarded and we don't need to find the genome of autism. We don't need to eradicate it to eradicate us. I'm autistic and I'm well. I don't need to be cured or healed. I really wish they understood how small changes in sameness and routine throws me off. Changing my seat in class or making adjustments to the times we follow at school really does create a whirlwind of emotions and uncertainty. Hi, my name's Charlotte. I'm supposed to be in year 11 this year but had to drop out due to my severe anxiety and depression. Um, I wish my classmates and teachers knew pretty much everything about being on the spectrum but in particular probably masking because all they would see is me laughing and smiling and they wouldn't see that I'm really hurting and suffering on the inside and then my parents and brother would have to deal with it when I get home and I would just be an absolute mess so yeah, I wish they would understand that. What I wish teachers knew is that if you want to know how to support us, you should get the answers from us directly and listen to what we have to say. Asking is always better than guessing, going off second-hand information or assuming based on stereotypes. Every autistic person is different, so asking us individually is the best way to support us as individuals. Something that I wish that my teachers realised was that I was never intentionally refusing to talk to them. I was just really overwhelmed and I was shutting down, which meant that I couldn't talk to them. So, in those situations, yelling at me or overloading me with questions wasn't helping, it was only making it worse. And to an autistic person, that can be extremely stressful. So if you're a teacher and you have a student who's struggling to talk to you, please think before you speak. Something that I wish students and teachers knew about autistic people is how exhausting it can be for us to mask for five days a week for nine months straight. I also wish they knew that when we turn in assignments late, it's not because we're lazy, but it's because we oftentimes lack the executive functioning skills for us to get the work done in a timely manner. I would like teachers and classmates to know that we are different. We struggle, we have problems, but they might not understand. We don't find the normal things normal. And we have our own way to deal with it. And it might look weird to you. I just wish more people knew that the stereotype that autistic people don't want friends is completely bogus. Because we mask our autistic traits to try and fit your idea of normal, which is difficult and even painful to do and also it's very triggering for us when people use autism as a slur and also the R slur and basically we just need friends and allies and support like the rest of you. Hi I'm Messina and I have autism. I wish that my teachers and classmates knew that everyone with autism is different and that you can't just group together all autistic people and say they all need blank when everyone has different abilities and needs. I am not barely focusing on my work because I have not put in the effort to pay attention in class. I am not covering my ears to be difficult or to draw attention during assemblies. 
I physically cannot block out nor ignore the everyday noises you insist I somehow learn to get used to. I wish my teachers and classmates knew that auditory processing problems and executive dysfunction are real issues that I have to deal with.